Good morning students, today we are going to introduce Unit 10, we are what we were, part 1. First, I'm going to introduce the new words. Number 1, belt. It's a strap of leather or material that you wear to support the cloth or for decoration. Number 2, casual. Casual clothes are not formal or not suitable for special occasions. Number 3, cotton. Material made from the cotton plant used to make shirts or trousers. Number four, earring, a piece of jewelry, usually one of a pair, worn in or on an ear. Number five, gold, made of a very valuable yellow metal, used to make coins and jewelry. Number six, handbag, a small bag, usually carried by women, used for money, keys, or makeup. Number seven, head scarf, material that women wear to cover their hair. Number eight, jewelry, objects that you wear on your cloth or body that are usually made from valuable stones or metals such as gold and silver. Number nine, leather, a material made from an animal used to make shoes, bags, cloth. Number ten, linen, a strong material made from part of the flax plant. Number 11, metal, a hard, strong material often used to make bridges the inside of the buildings. Number 12, necklace, a piece of jewelry worn around the neck. Number 13, rope, a long, loose piece of clothing. Number 14, sandals, open shoes that you usually wear in warm weather. Number 15, a scarf, a long piece of material that you wear around the neck or the shoulders. Number 16, size, how big or small something is. Number 17, smart, looking clean and tidy. Number 18, sunglasses, dark glasses that you wear to protect your eyes from the sun. Number 19, trainers, light, comfortable shoes that people usually wear for a sport. Number 20, wool, the soft, thick material that comes from the hair of sheep and some other animals. Now open your book. Page 36, Cloth in Ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, men and women wore similar clothes. They both wore loose white linen clothes with a belt. Most of the time, ancient Egyptians did not wear shoes, but people sometimes wore expensive leather sandals. Children did not usually wear many clothes until they were about six years old. Then, they started to wear the same clothes as their parents. Although ancient Egyptians' clothes were simple, they loved to wear heavy metal jewelry. Like some people today, they liked to wear beautiful gold necklaces and other jewelry. Now read the text again. Are these state sentences true or false? Correct the false sentences. Number one, it's already answered. In ancient Egypt, men and women didn't dress very differently. True. Number two, clothes made of cotton were popular. False, they wore linen clothes. Number three, not many people wore shoes. False, they didn't wear shoes. Number four, small children wore many clothes. False, a children didn't usually wear many clothes until they were about six years old. Number five, sandals cost a lot of money. True. Number six, people never wore expensive jewelry. False, they liked to wear gold necklaces and other jewelry. Adjective order. Use more than one adjective in this order. Don't use more than three or four adjectives. And this is the order of adjectives. We start by size or description. We have example here, big, pretty, shape, like long, age, old, color, 
green material cotton a noun like dress for example rich egyptians wore beautiful gold necklaces another example she likes loose white linen cloth or he wore a green cotton shirt Now open your book, page 37, put the adjectives in the correct order. Number one, it's already answered. A skirt, blue, beautiful. It's a beautiful blue a skirt. Number two, a scarf, colorful cotton. It's a colorful cotton a scarf. Number three, necklace, old, short, gold. It's a short, old, gold necklace. Number four, Shoes, leather, strange, big. They are big, strange leather shoes. Number five, sunglasses, black, expensive plastic. They are expensive black plastic sunglasses. Number six, jumper, purple, nice wool. It's a nice purple wool jumper. Now pay attention to the difference between one and ones. We use one for singular or ones for plural to replace repeated nouns in a sentence. For example, that beautiful dress is the one my grandmother made me. One here means a dress. Is that dress. Or these trainers are much better than the ones I had before. Ones here means trainers. Remember also, we use this for singular or this for plural to talk about things near us. For example, this shirt is from a little shop in Cairo. These were my dad's. We use that for singular or those for plural to talk about things not near us. For example, that beautiful dress is mine. Those skirts are my sister's. Now open your book, page 39, read and correct the underlined words, number one. Where did you get that sunglasses? It's already answered here, those. Number two, shall I buy this blue t-shirt or that green ones? One. Number three, do you prefer this dress or that one over there? This. Number four, I bought these shoes last week in the market. I bought these shoes. Number five, those earrings are the one my mom gave me. Ones are the ones. Now open your workbook, page 94. Match the objects with the materials they are usually made of. Number one, it's already answered. Number one, C, sheet, here, is usually made of uh, linen. Number two, number two, D, shirt, cotton. Number three, three, A, necklace, gold. Number four, four, B, boots, Leather. Number five. Five F. Sunglasses. Plastic. Number six. Six E. Jumper. Wool. Now page ninety five. Choose the correct answer from A, B, or C. Number one. When you borrow something from a friend, you give him or her something or take something from him or her or take something and give it back. When you borrow something, it means that you take something and give it back. Number two, when you wear the same size cloth as your sister, it means you can wear the same cloth, you wear cloth of a different material or you can wear cloth of the same material you can wear the same cloth. Number three, if something is a special occasion, it means it is an important event for you 
You visit people who are relatives or you meet people from time to time. It is an important event for you. Now choose the correct words to complete the dialogue. Number one is already answered. These gold earrings in my hand are my grandmother's. They are beautiful. Whose are those black boots next to the door? The new leather ones are my brothers. He plays football in them. What about the big plastic ones? They are my uncle's boots. He the firefighter. What's this small thing by my chair? Oh, that's my father's new device. It's a computer. You can ask it a question if you like. Okay, I'll ask it. One, computer, what's the weather like tomorrow? Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Goodbye.